Good morning and welcome to Love My 419. I'm Bill Delaney, Sandy Eisenberg, and Steve Remy. And we've got a show today. Uh, Stick with us on this thing. As luck would have it, the goofball is in the four is a 419 citizen. Well, what are the chances? Well, he's not really, (laughs) you know, they say he's from, but He's not really from. And I can't wait till we hash this out. Yes, no kidding. Yes. All right, the pe- president has. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, I'll this. say it. Go ahead. <laughs> you do it. You do it. Because I'm not doing it. The president has seemingly galvanized the bigot. Yes. Uh, come on, Steve. The bigot. This is or ridiculous. The bigots. The bigots. Or, or okay. The All right, we're going on for it. Okay. <laughs> yes. uh, Spangler's okay. in. Yeah. Please stop. We can't do this right now. Uh, Spangler and Napoleon <laughs> celebrates longevity. Yeah. It's a, a fine restaurant there in Napoleon. Mm-hmm. And Paco's wants to speed things up. Ooh. So they're opening one soon and another one not in not the too distant future. Mm-hmm. And we'll have all of this of, and more when we come back with Love My 419. Stay tuned. Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. And without Harold Jaffe Jewelers, there's no Love My 419. How would you know what to do? Where'd it go? Where the fun things in the 419 are at? Or the stories that you need to know? So stop into Harold Jaffe Jewelers anytime between now and the rest of the week and let them know how much you appreciate them bringing you quality television like Love My 419. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. More of Love My 419 in a moment. But right now, we have the jazz man himself. Woo-hoo. Oh, he's a jeweler, too. That's right. That's right. That's second, Jeff, Jeff. secondary to the music. Very secondary. Well, yeah. Yeah. This is the, uh, <laughs> the other one. This is, we're in, a, we're in a count. Yeah, Jeff, thank you for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a, it's the season. Go. Huh? It's the season Actually, for those it, it, signs. Yeah. I'm, I, I am. I, I vote you know, for I'm campaigning, I'm campaigning all the time. Um, <laughs> Those Sell other people, diamond. they only, they only campaign every now and then. <laughs> I love them. But They're great signs, thank by you. the way. Thank you. They're yes. very effective. Um, but I'm not talking jewelry today. Oh, unless, okay. unless somebody wants to. I'm talking music, damn it. Woohoo! All right. My favorite. Go, jazz man. Saturday night. Right. Saturday night, the 26th. Oh. Collingwood Arts Center. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Here Collingwood we go. Arts Center. Ben Sidron. Right. With a phenomenal band, phenomenal music. Um, it is a, uh, it's actually a celebration. Um, ben Ben is um, calling this tour. His new album is called "Picture Picture Me Happy." Okay, mm. but his, his theme th- his theme was "If Not Now When." Oh, that's <laughs> and, hilarious! Um, and we are well. Ben had a big birthday this month. I'm having a b- big birthday this month, so we really? will be we will be serving twenty nine again. 29 again. But we're gonna serve some, we're gonna serve birthday cake um, along with music. Oh, oh, good. And um, it should oh. be fun. It should Sandy, be fun. You should we'll pop be out of his cake. But tickets are available at the Art Table They'd have Society. to get a very com. large cake. And I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. Um, Sounds like fun. I'm, i got to tell you, I'm excited. They, they just kicked off their tour um, this past week. And um, they are um, – it's, it's one of those – he – Ben and, and and his son Leo, they put this together as like uh, almost the old fashioned way that musicians would tour. They packed oh. up a car, they packed up a car, and they're touring the Midwest. Remarkable, remarkable guy. Um, Can't but wait. the um, the the uh, the Jazz Society, of course, is the Art Tatum Society dot com, oh, yeah. which is where you can get tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, if you buy them early, you can save a little bit of money. If you buy them at the door. It'll cost you a little bit more. Okay. So um, we're hoping to see a lot of you there. And I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. That's why people should vote for you. Okay. I hope so. More of Love My 419 when we return. Love My 419 brought to you in part by Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Also brought to you by the Toledo City Paper, delivering the best of what Toledo has to offer. Pick up the latest issue at one of the many great businesses around Toledo. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, and Steve. And Steve, what have you got for us? Well, you know, we love popcorn. 
Yes. We also love ice cream. A lot of people hear Rachel Michaels popcorn. They I forget know. about the ice cream she has there. Nummy, Toffs nummy. ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so imagine that with a little uh, chocolate popcorn on okay. top. Little hey, come on. We got to finish this. Though. Yeah, so you can get yours if you mention how much you <laughs> love my, my 419. 419. And you get your little mini bag of popcorn. Excellent, bud. Excellent. And it's nummy. Okay, uh, a nation in disgust, Charlottesville retrospective again uh, i want to mention the, the director likes to use big words he does so um what's <laughs> this, our thoughts on this thing this was it was bad i mean it, it was, was very bad very very, very but bad. you can you remember and i was listening to a lot of the other uh news media talking about what was happening when this happened in toledo you mm-hmm. know because you remember this same type of thing happened yeah, and how it incited riots in north 1967 toledo. yeah yeah well uh, the riots in toledo was 67 mm. uh the nazis and the kkk came to north toledo what a couple years ago yes yeah. and before that we had them at the courthouse and before that we had them at the courthouse again uh, I think the biggest problem I see with them, besides the fact that they are ignorant uh, jerks, and I'm yeah. cleaning it up because it's a family station, right? Uh, is the fact that they want that attention. Right. So now the world has given them so much attention, but the thing that's important now in this day of in, uh, in, in, in artificial intelligence is you can see all these faces... Because everybody mm-hmm. took pictures of everybody there. And right. if you know who they are and you know where they work, go tell the people where they work. Right. right. They're going after them. They're they going, are after going after them. After the FBI's people. got all their pictures. Right. right. Homeland Security's got all their pictures. These are not people that, not that they don't belong in this country because everybody has a right to be here. Yeah. Except that. We've got a guy from Maumee, Ohio, exactly. who moved here from Kentucky. Kentucky. Right, he's not from. Who is a Nazi? Right, a twenty-year-old well, Nazi ingrained in him. I cannot believe. I, I feel badly for his mother. I feel so much worse for Heather Heavy's uh, mother that lost her only daughter. Right, these well, people are crazy. Right, yeah. Well, and I think too the like the we're just finding out more about you know James Alex Fields who we're talking about who's um, from, resided in Maumee. There was a background with him. I guess they're now thinking he had anger issues, and there might oh, have been some some yeah. behavior. When he had a knife to his mother and, yeah. and yeah. ready and to do harm, to beat her up, and and the poor I woman's think, in I, a there's wheelchair. Gotta, there's yeah. got to be an island someplace for these people. You think? I mean, just. No, they need mental health, and it needs to be recognized. Mental, that's beyond mental yeah, health. Yeah, but you need to recognize it earlier in grade school or early. I mean, it was show. recognized. How did he? How did he develop this? Well, and stay they with said it? growing his, up, his he had always teacher. been a Hitler enthusiast. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, right there, that's kind of a little bit of a flag. One <laughs> yeah. Would Hello. Think, one would think the behavior with his mother. Big second flag. You know, yeah, again, yeah. they fall into that profile of these kids being loners, and which they had said he was. Hence, mm-hmm. why he had to move from Kentucky because there were just issues with him where he was going to. Well, right. he was, and he was in, uh, always getting into small scrapes in school, even though he might have been a loner. Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, and then we've got you know just again the country is in this divide, and then this. This feeds into this climate right. of national racial racial regression. Right. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's... listen. There's a lot of folks out there for whatever their reason is, whatever their uh, early childhood circumstances were, that uh, you know feel so negative about people that are not the same as no. they may be when they look in the mirror. Well, and then again, you know, I got to take my shot here because okay. then, you know, everybody was waiting for a rebuttal and response from Trump. Two days it took him to come back well, and, and say I, something. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, he had I, other things on his mind at the time. Well, apparently. you know, but, but he makes his own. But he made up for it. He, he makes made his up own for garbage, it. right? No, what? he makes his own garbage. Oh, shut! Oh, hey, hey. be respectful. I respect you. <laughs> To no, seriously, yeah. Well, seriously, he yeah. makes his own trouble, and when he doesn't want to say something about something bad going on around town or around the country, he brings up trade agreements. 
He brings up Venezuela. We're going to invade Venezuela. We got enough problems in America. Right. So right. he mm. tries to detract everybody from what's really happening in the world, and he has a responsibility, and he can't go calling people out because they don't dis- they don't agree with him. Right. Whatever you do, don't <sighs> mention the good things he's done. Anyway, I don't, um, can't think of one good thing he's done. <laughs> I'm sure you can't play golf for 17 days. Anyway, and I'm getting about this. Obama oh, playing golf. yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we'll be back after this message. If Stay Bill's tuned. still alive. Yeah, if she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Love My 419. Brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply. Servicing Toledo for over 30 years. Also brought to you by The Butler. Master Barber. Changing lives one haircut at a time. Find him inside the Operations Barber Shop, 1824 North Reynolds Road. Coming up, more Love My 419. Love My 419, brought to you in part by the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Papers Best Realtor 2016. Man, this story came across. I thought this was funny. So this Oregon man dies peacefully after being told Trump was impeached. <laughs> That's not funny, Steve. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the, the, I think what scares most of the people, it's like, you know, it's a tit for tat. Who, Who's going to basically flip the switch? You know, Trump called it the end of strategic patience. That's heavy. Thirteen murders? He said. Well, he, I'm glad he's I'm dead. taking... Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah. Works, men right? like to get it, too, yeah, Sandy. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. get excited. How do you mean Say jewelry. Say jewelry. jewelry. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Listen, we've gone far enough with this. I think we're not making fun of this situation in Korea. It's just, we just pantomime music. Oh, that's well, all. that'll be good. And yeah. then we make fun of a lot of things. Okay, everybody. See you that next it? week. Okay, that's good enough. I don't know where the hell we are right now. My 419. Sh- <laughs> anyway, we do have fun here. Oh, Despite no, what, whatever we say, we're still having I'm fun. Dreaming. Okay. <laughs> this is hot stuff in the 419. Oh, you ready yes. for this? And yes. so are we. <laughs> and speaking of hot stuff, we got to thank them ladies over at the Paul Mitchell School. Hey, everybody. Absolutely. It's time to go back to school. And get your hair yeah. cut. Yes. And your manicures and your pedicures. Yes, but you got to learn how to do it because they're a school. They are currently yes. enrolling now for fall 2017. So we want to contact our girl, Marcel, for special enrollment. And they, and they do a really lovely, lovely they job. Do. They do. They work really hard with the folks mm-hmm. that take their classes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll roll on here with uh, mayor voting. Uh, to, began on Tuesday of last week. So this is the early vote, mm-hmm. and everybody, please get out and vote. The percentages yes. on so these things have been again? sad in Who recent. Running again for mayor was new, uh, Tom with Wade Caps Cabbage, Wade Caps Cabbage, and Opal Covey, and okay. and Mayor Paula Opal. Hicks Hudson, and Paula Hicks Hudson's perfect. Yeah, yep. and yeah. she's That's looking cool. for re-election. Right. That's okay. cool. But. Um, okay. Anyway, Steve Steele, City Councilman, wants to put. Three million back in the capital fund, and I was at the meeting uh, last week, and he was right. He was okay. right. This, these things should go back in in the proper areas. Okay. And there was a lot of things. This was on streets and roads and so on. Right. Um, it was an interesting meeting to say the least. And there was only two of us, I think, that weren't part of the council. Okay. And part of the media. That we're sitting there. I, I encourage everybody to try and get down to some of these meetings because it's very interesting, and and you get to find out a lot of things you didn't know. So and anybody can go to these meetings. We should oh, sure. know about. They're open really? Public hearings. Are there of snacks? There. Are there, there snacks? Are no there, snacks? There's a snack bar, but you got to get it early. There are no they snacks. close at snacks. three. So I know all this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, but the bottom bottom line is you learn how your government 
operates or how it shouldn't operate uh, depending oh, on your point the truth? or on how they want to spend yeah, three million dollars well, well first Things of all they need great. to balance the budget and stop moving money around until they absolutely well need it. don't we aren't we supposed to do that every year i thought so yeah well it's not happening well there you go uh it should be and it's not happening and there you have it boom okay <laughs> northwest ohio abortion clinic petitions ohio supreme court to block state attempts to shut down now I thought that the, coming up at one of the meetings, all he wanted to do is talk about a, a, a buffer area around mm. the abortion clinic. Right. I didn't hear anything about it shutting down. They wanted to shut it down, and I guess this would be Who the wants final to shut it down? one, the, the yes. Supreme Court. Oh, the Supreme Court does. Yes. Yeah, and this is the final. This is like the last one in this area. And what's going to happen after that? That's After that, know. they're probably going to go back and do in back alleys like they've done and for 50 years. And that's the problem. Years. Well, I think everybody ought to mind their own business and stay out of everybody's bedroom. That's correct, too. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Free, I agree with that. It's the woman's right. I it's agree with concern. that. It's her to partner's do. right, woman or man, whatever well, it may right. be. True. And her doctor. And right. it has absolutely nothing to do with this state senator or that state rep or that Supreme Court justice. I would agree. I mm-hmm. would agree. It's not yeah. their business. True. But so anyway... I'll tell that's you what. That's hot stuff there. That's hot Very stuff. High. That's yeah, pretty that's hot. hot stuff. But just, I got to come back just one second on yes. this guy from Kentucky. Okay. And he's from Kentucky. He's, okay. you know, yeah, he's not. Know right. He just he's happened not to here. Land. It's, he happened Mommy to land got in nailed Mommy. with this. Yeah. Unfortunately. They had a rough week, Mommy did. Well, yeah. yeah. That and with the uh, Mommy's the, Donuts. Yeah, yeah, but I'm so happy that the health department. I am department too. I want to get down there and get a donut just to support him. I really do. That the health department came in and they cleaned it all up. They really did a very, very good job. And these are hardworking folks. And they had lots of their regular customers yes, back yes. and happy to be back. So we wish them lots of good luck and a uh, very successful year. Save right. your crawler. <laughs> it's a crawler. Oh, well, that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And give me listen, a jelly ball, baby. <laughs> listen, we'll be right back after this message with more of Love My 419. We'll see you in a few minutes. Love My 419, brought to you in part by Darlington Nursing and Rehab, the skilled nursing, long-term care, rehabilitation and respite healthcare centre, fostering a nurturing environment where residents and employees are authentically treated with dignity, respect and compassion. Now a part of the CCH Healthcare Network. Love My 419, brought to you in part by the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty, voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Papers Best Realtor 2016. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, who I is used to she's still Sandy. alive, and Steve. <laughs> we haven't killed each other yet, oh, so no, everything is cool. We've got but close, but I'll we're tell okay. you what. We want to go. Oh, Steve, have you got anything? I that, uh, do. We got to thank one of our sponsors, 360 oh, yes. Painting, the oh. residential and commercial painting. Nice. My buddy. Nice my people. buddy. Yeah. Nice job, so, too. Oh, yes. You quote, you get a 10% off. For the month of August, if you contacted them today. If mm-hmm. you're a teacher. If you're a teacher and you mention how much you love, love my, my 419. 419. There you Booyah. go. Booyah. Okay. Um, and these are stories you need to know. Mm-hmm. The 419 stories you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Who is, is, there so, is, is there somebody up in that... There's a crack up here. In the- hey, anything can happen. <laughs> it's it's got to be that guy. I don't know. Anyway, let's, right. let's roll on. I, I, he bothers me. It's a ghost. Okay. Yeah. Newmont Library on Door Street. Yay. Bring a new vision to South Park area. Smith Park. What did I say? What did I say? South Park? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a cartoon. Welcome to the cartoon. Oh, my okay. God. Okay. South Park this Steve, what do you got? This is a great thing, though, because... Of now those kids over there are not going to have to risk their lives cropping the street. I know, that's a, that's a wild area. Yeah. yeah, this is a great thing. Yeah. And it's kind of, you know, 
it it spurs revitalization in that area. Yeah, right? Right. you know, gives people in that area a sense of pride that you know it all. They could do gatherings around the library and those types of things. So I think it's cool. Picnics. Yeah. I went into the old West End uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, driving down Central at Collingwood. My sister and I we were laughing about when the old Kent Branch Library used to have picnics mm-hmm. on the weekends. Maybe the Mott Library will. I'm telling you, it was really fun. I mean, I those are good, good memories. Right. Good you, neighborhood memories. You remember memories. when Toledo was first discovered? Yes, didn't you? I did. It All was. Right. It was a Wagons swamp. Wagons word. It was Sandy. a swamp. <laughs> Which may it go but back to But you cleaned it up, and I appreciate yeah, that. Thank Andy. you very much. She okay. Up <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to I believe Napoleon, right? Uh, no. Spangler Restaurant <laughs> celebrates 125 yes. years. Yes. Wow. Something that else is, that's that been is, around yeah. a long time. No, I was not there at the opening. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Took my line. The the the, the, the viewers want were, were gonna ask. I mean, they would probably go on the app. Yeah, how about the viewers that thought I was dead? That's even better. Well, there's those viewers. As long as the and then is, there and there are those viewers that wish I were. There's that. There's that. But that's, okay, I, I mean, 125 yeah, years in the same yeah. location. I think that's wonderful. That's rare. Well, not only that, it tells you an awful lot about the people that have run that place You're for right. years. You're right. Yeah, that's it's their my, my kids never wanted to be involved in my business, so really? it, yeah. it just cut. You know, that was it. Yeah. The ladies right. are still you. there. You know. Yeah, but. but everybody's got their own lives. They want to live it their yeah. way. Maybe if we all aboard the four one nine buggy, we can go to Napoleon, <laughs> and maybe they'll cook us some food. Hello, Napoleon. <laughs> Hello. I don't yes. think so. Yeah. I don't think so either. Okay. But it All sounds right. good. We're talking about food. Yeah, food, food. It's Tony oh, Packer's Tony drive throw mm. I am excited about this. Yeah. Good stuff. Because I like a spicy martini, and <laughs> now I can get the pickles and peppers on a skewer and put them in my martini. And nice I don't have to get out of the and, car uh, to do that'd it. That would be nice when a police officer stops you for an open container. <laughs> I didn't say I was you having the martini in the car. Oh, no. Okay. I'm, I'm get, well, you, you know. could. <laughs> Depends on what part of town you're in. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm downtown, I'm good to go. That's all inner city. That's yeah, right. just stand there. There you go. Everything there. And Adam is in uh, Yes, 17th. but it officially <laughs> opened Monday. Yeah. And with the Conat Mommy location soon to follow. So I'm excited about that. Where is that, well, I don't, where is that going to be? Because I don't get down that way too much. Not Conat Mommy. It's on oh. Conat. Um, I think it's past the Meyer store. Maybe across from Amazon. It could be. It could be. Hmm. I don't know. I've got to hit both of them. Yes. We'll be right back. I'd love to see you as president. Yo. No. You couldn't handle all these things at one time. No I way. I probably no. couldn't. No. And I, but I know that. Hence yeah. crack and cognac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring me my vodka. <laughs> Just get me vodka. <laughs> Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, Steve. And I got to say one thing, that this has been the craziest day <laughs> I believe I've ever seen on set with our director and producer. Oh, my God. I think he's gone Meshuggah. You know what I think it is. Huh? You know what? What? I think it's because of the eclipse. You it might have think? something to do with that. I you did know? not even think look, about look, it. Look, look, look. What's he? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
The man is dancing. I don't know if yeah. that's the so bathroom. The I don't know, really but I want crappy. out of here before he's he totally explodes. Today. But no, that's, I mean, this is a historic event that's going to be oh, happening yeah. We'll never see the next one. I want to be. I want to see the next one. one. I'm going to pass this one and wait for the next one. No, I mean, but this is, I mean, this <laughs> is. Three more years. Yeah, until, right. Yeah, they're saying 83% of the United States will be, eight, will be like, dark. Yeah, because now, of this, where are, you, where are you going to get the glasses? Well, I was trying to get us some. I mean, the, the uh, Imagination Station is actually having a big party yeah. where they're going to be handing out some of the free glasses. But I talked to some people at Kroger's, and they said that there might be a chance they'll get more in because I tried to get some for us, mm-hmm. and they were completely sold out. So, well, what does one wear, Sandy, to an eclipse? Do you know? <laughs> Who cares? Nobody's going to see anyway. Well, oh, well, that's true. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> don't wear, just go. A la carte. Really? Right. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to be? see us. Where are you, you going to be? I don't know. Where am I going to be? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to be s- sitting outside with some cognac and some stuff. I'm going to do like I did when they had the last eclipse <laughs> we know with this box <laughs> and these little slits for eyes. Okay. That's what they- <laughs> okay. Let's let's. <laughs> Let's get to the final thought. This is nuts today. we got to get I out of here. I love it. I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> it's the eclipse. But yeah. anyway, you know, going back to what happened in Charlottesville, I can't help but thinking, you know, where all this evil kind of stems from, what my mom always used to tell me and what you used to hear in school. People are only afraid of things that they don't know about. So you have to or, become... And they don't understand. They don't understand. So, you know... Maybe this week, you know, take time to understand or get information about something you have a fear about. You know, mm-hmm. that's I, that's my final thought. Okay, Sandy. My final thought is <clears throat> that uh, I know that they're going to be talking about uh, the election on September 12th, the primary election, mm-hmm. and I know that they have a ballot issue on for the new jail, which I am not against the new jail. I am just against the way Where? that they have presented it to the general public, and I'm also against where they plan on putting it. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was a wonderful essay in one of America's great newspapers, the Toledo Blade, that said something to the effect that there's all this property in the LaGrange area, Office Central, and the Greenbelt Parkway that certainly could be used for a uh, jail and adjacent uh, buildings for therapy and educational opportunities for those folks that have been incarcerated right. and it's a heck of a lot closer it's to downtown a lot closer to downtown where it should be and it's not in a neighborhood right. where the poor neighbors are complaining and worrying sick about what are they going to do and i still want to know who bought that how much they paid really paid for that 30 acres and who owned it well okay you, so you've mine, taken all the, the wind day. out of the final I'm thought. Terrible. So I got, <laughs> I've got well, one thing, one thing, and I've got to right. get this out. Okay. Happy birthday, dear. It's my wife's Aww, birthday happy birthday. Today. Oh, yeah. yes. Happy birthday, darling, to you. Yes. Love you, dear. Yes. Total eclipse of and the I, heart. And I think we should get you a medal oh. for being married to him for... Oh, oh stop it, Sandy. You know I'm the greatest thing that ever happened. Anyway. In your uh, mind. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's say goodbye to the folks. We'll see you next week. Bye, all. It's been great. Bye, bye. Total bye. eclipse. Love you, dear. Heart. Happy birthday. Stop it. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> They're going to love this show. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>